Next, what we're going to talk about is how to find vertical asymptotes. Uh, vertical asymptotes are basically the values that make f of x undefined. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our denominator equal to zero and solve. The answer or answers will be the vertical asymptotes. They must be written as vertical asymptote x is equal to something. It is an equation of a line, so make sure that you're kind of aware of that when you're finding these things. So in this first example for f of x, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and set our denominator equal to zero and factor it. So x squared minus 9. You could solve for x in this one, but we'll just go ahead and factor it. So when you do this, you'll get x to be negative 3 and x to be a positive 3. So what we would say in a problem like this is that our vertical asymptote would be x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 3. Now as you can see, this should be very similar to us finding our domain. So what actually happens is the, the undefined values for your domain will make up your vertical asymptotes. So important to remember it's a very similar process. So the domain for this will be all real numbers but 3 and negative 3, and your vertical asymptotes will be x is equal to 3 and x equal to negative 3. Now g of x is a little bit different because what we actually have to do is go ahead and simplify our problem first before we go through the process of finding the vertical asymptotes. So what's going to happen is this and this will cancel. So what we'll be left with is g of x is equal to 1 over x minus 3. And then what we'll do is we'll find the undefined value from that. So we'll say uh, x minus 3 equal to 0. So you get x is equal to 3. So you'll say your vertical asymptote will be x is equal to 3. And then last one, uh, when we're working on the last one, again, uh, you'd love to factor it. We can't factor it. So we'd set our denominator equal to 0. And then we would solve. So x squared is equal to negative 9. So x is equal to plus or minus 3i. Now, as you can see in this, uh, those are non-real numbers. So what we would do for a problem like this is this one will have what they call no vertical asymptote. So our vertical asymptotes will only be real numbers, so if you get one that it's an imaginary solution, then you'll just say there's no vertical asymptote.